This topic is a very subjective one. Many books can be included in the list, but here, we are only listing 10 books, due to the duration of the video. Even though, there will be many disagreements with the selected 10 books. Other popular books that are not listed here will get detailed attention in our upcoming videos. Feel free to add any additional books with a reason, to the comments field. The list is not arranged in the order of importance, they are arranged in order of creation. Here is the list of top 10 books that changed the world. Welcome to, The Amazing Facts, stay tuned. Top 10 books that changed the world. Subscribe our channel for more videos. Number 10, The Bible. There can be no doubt that the Bible has done more to change the face of the world than any other book. A mere 200 years after it was created, it brought about the conversion of the entire Roman Empire from paganism to Christianity. Since then, Christianity has become the largest single religion in the world with 2.4 billion adherents. The oldest and largest of the Christian groups is the Roman Catholic Church, whose membership is equal to the size of all other Christian groups combined. The Bible comprises two books, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Gutenberg Bible was the first book ever published on the printing press. It is widely considered to be the best-selling book of all time. Number 9, The Quran. The Quran is the holy book of the Islamic religion. The founder of Islam, Muhammad told his followers that he was given revelations by the angel Gabriel. These revelations form the basis of the Quran. After Muhammad's death in 632, the Quran was recorded by word of mouth only. It was not for another 20 years that the various memories of his words were collected and combined. The Quran is considered by Muslims to be the last revealed word of God. It is widely regarded as the finest work in classical Arabic literature. It is organized in 114 chapters called surahs. Number 8, The Summa Theologica. The Summa Theologica, as the best known work of St. Thomas Aquinas, is a multi-volume set of books that outlines in the most precise manner, the doctrines and beliefs of Christianity. It was held in such high regard, that second to the Bible, it was the book most used for reference at the Council of Trent. Its influence was felt all across the Christian world as the reforms of the Council of Trent were implemented. To this day, the Summa Theologica is the primary teaching tool used in Roman Catholic seminaries and its author is regarded as a doctor of the Church. It is one of the classics of the history of philosophy and one of the most influential works of Western literature. Moreover, the Summa remains Aquinas' most perfect work. The fruit of his mature years, in which the thought of his whole life is condensed. Among non-scholars, the Summa is perhaps most famous for its five arguments for the existence of God, which are known as the Five Ways. Number 7, The Rights of Man. Rights of Man, a book by Thomas Paine, including 31 articles, posits that popular political revolution is permissible when a government does not safeguard the natural rights of its people. It was published in two parts in March 1791 and February 1792. Paine, an English writer, influenced American democracy and democracy in general with his writings. According to Paine, the sole purpose of the government is to protect the irrefutable rights inherent to every human being. Thus all institutions which do not benefit a nation are illegitimate, including the monarchy and the nobility and the military establishment. When the French Revolution broke out, Paine went to France where, 
Despite his ignorance of the French language, he was promptly elected to the National Convention. His absence from England at this time was fortuitous, because the publication of the rights of man caused such a furor in the country that Payne was put on trial in absentia and convicted for seditious libel against the Crown. Number 6. Either or. Either or is the first published work of the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard. Appearing in two volumes in 1843 under the pseudonym as editorship, it outlines a theory of human existence. Either or portrays the two life views, one being consciously hedonistic and one based on ethical duty and responsibility, in two volumes. Each life view is written and represented by a fictional pseudonymous author and the prose of the work depends on which life view is being discussed. For example, the aesthetic life view is written in short essay form, with poetic imagery and allusions, discussing aesthetic topics such as music, seduction, drama, and beauty. The ethical life view is written as two long letters, with a more argumentative and restrained prose, discussing moral responsibility, critical reflection, and marriage. This book, by the father of existentialism, has been highly influential with other existentialists. Despite its great popularity, it was not published in English until 1944, Existentialism is a philosophical movement that claims that individual human beings have full responsibility for creating the meanings of their own lives. It is a reaction against more traditional philosophies, such as rationalism and empiricism. Number 5. Communist Manifesto the Communist Manifesto, originally the Manifesto of the Communist Party, is an 1848 political document by German philosophers Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. Commissioned by the Communist League and originally published in London just as the revolutions of 1848 began to erupt, the Manifesto was later recognized as one of the world's most influential political documents. The manifesto suggested a course of action for a proletarian revolution to overthrow the bourgeois social order and to eventually bring about a classless and stateless society. Perhaps the most famous quote from the work reads, the communists disdain to conceal their views and aims. They openly declare that their ends can be attained only by the forcible overthrow of all existing social conditions. Let the ruling classes tremble at a communist revolution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. Working men of all countries, unite. Number 4. Experimental Research in Electricity In Experimental Researches in Electricity, first published in three volumes between 1839 and 1855, Faraday discusses the inquiries that led to his development of the first dynamo, and his establishment of the foundations of classical field theory. Faraday was an English chemist and physicist whose many experiments with electricity ultimately lead to his invention of electromagnetic rotary devices which form the foundation of electric motor technology. Although he received little formal education and thus higher mathematics like calculus were always out of his reach, he went on to become one of the most influential scientists in history. It was largely his experiments that lead to electricity becoming viable for use in technology. During his lifetime, Faraday rejected a knighthood and twice refused to become president of the Royal Society. He died at his house at Hampton Court on August 25, 1867. He has a memorial plaque in Westminster Abbey, near Isaac Newton's tomb, but he turned down burial there and is interred in the San Domanian plot in Highgate Cemetery. Number 3, 
on the origin of species. This book by Darwin is considered a seminal work in the field of evolutionary biology. It proposes that over time, through natural selection, species evolve. It was a highly controversial book as it contradicted many religious views on biology at the time. Darwin's book was the culmination of evidence he had accumulated on the voyage of the Beagle in the 1830s and expanded through continuing investigations and experiments since his return to England. The book is readable even for the non-specialist and attracted widespread interest in publication. The book was controversial and generated much discussion on scientific, philosophical, and religious grounds. The scientific theory of evolution has itself evolved since Darwin first presented it, but natural selection remains the most widely accepted scientific model of how species evolve. The at times bitter creation evolution controversy continues to this day. Number 2. The Second Sex The Second Sex is a 1949 book by the French existentialist Simone de Beauvoir. Beauvoir wrote the book after attempting to write about herself. She published it in two volumes, Facts and Myths and Lived Experience. The first thing she wrote was that she was a woman, but she realized that she needed to define what a woman was, which became the intent of the book. It is a work on the treatment of women throughout history and often regarded as a major feminist work. In it, she argues that women throughout history have been defined as the other sex, an aberration from the normal male sex. Simone de Beauvoir argues that women have historically been considered deviant and abnormal. She submits that even Mary Wollstonecraft considered men to be the ideal toward which women should aspire. Beauvoir says that this attitude has limited women's success by maintaining the perception that they are a deviation from the normal, and are outsiders attempting to emulate normality. For feminism to move forward, this assumption must be set aside. Number 1, Atlas Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged is a 1957 novel by Ayn Rand. It was Rand's last work before she devoted her time exclusively to philosophical writing. Atlas Shrugged includes elements of science fiction, mystery, and romance and it contains Rand's most extensive statement of objectivism in any of her works of fiction. The theme of Atlas Shrugged, as Rand described it, is the role of man's mind in existence. She considered it to be her magnum opus and is it the most popular of her non-fiction work. While the book was largely a critical failure, it had an enormous popular success. As far as influence in the world, the objectivist philosophy gave much to the libertarian movement which has enjoyed great popularity around the world. In a three-month online poll of reader selections of the 100 best novels of the 20th century, administered by publisher Modern Library, Atlas Shrugged was voted number one. That's the end of our list. The Analects by Confucius, Elements by Euclid, The Interpretation of Dreams by Sigmund Freud, A Sand County Almanac by Aldo Leopold, Beloved by Toni Morrison, Comedies, Histories and Tragedies by William Shakespeare, and many more books, which is not included in the list have a similar influence in shaping the world. That's all for this video, stay tuned. Thank you, for watching. Subscribe our channel for latest notifications.